Hi, so this thing is actually looking quite awesome. You might notice I've taken it from its horizontal to its vertical. What I've really done is just suspend it on the axle on a foot plate here. And this foot plate's about 150 by 150. And actually, it's tremendously well balanced, which has got nothing to do with me. It's just to do with the materials that I selected. So it spins really quite beautifully. And for anybody who thinks I don't listen to people, uh, I have. I was got a bit worried about the... Um, fixing of the blades really based on the comments that people were saying I thought well that makes a lot of sense so what I've done is I've put a bolt through every one of those little pipes so the pipes are now bolted to this here and then I've put a screw in each of the blades into those pipes to hold the blades onto the pipes so I've firmly fixed everything down really really firmly it's not just relying on the glue anymore there's a lot of screws and bolts in there so I've done that I've turned it vertical uh, I haven't put the magnets on yet because now I've done that what I want to do is just see how how this thing will actually spin. So of course we're going to take it into the car park. <coughs> so back in the car park testing it, but it spins just fine. Awesome. Okay, so I checked out the weather report. We're supposed to be having 10 mile an hour winds with uh, little gusts up to 12 to 15 miles an hour. So that's what the wind speed. Turned this thing no problem at all. I mean, sure enough, we haven't got the magnets and the coils on yet, so we'll have a see. But it, it was in the car park, eh? So uh, I'm quite pleased with that. It seems to be responding well. The plan with the main support, actually, is that foot plate is obviously, you know, I mean, it was, it was surprisingly stable, given what it is. But I'm going to bolt the foot plate onto a piece of wood, put an upright in here, and then an arm going out to the top um, of the axle there that you can see. And that will be the support structure for it. Then obviously on that plate, what we then need to do is put those um, microwave oven transformers and stick the magnets on. So that's all we actually need to do with this before we take it into a position where we can really test it. But everything's looking really positive. It's really nicely balanced, spins really easily, even in a light breeze. So I thought I would share that with you because we've now got it in the right position and it's still turning pretty freely. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you very much for watching.